What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today, bringing you another Eagles related video. Um, kind of Eagles related, but not really anymore. It looks like Michael Kendricks has found his team, guys, and he has signed with dun -dun, the Browns. Now, I don't want to be that guy that always just craps on the Browns and says that they're a hopeless situation, hopeless team. Um, even though I feel that way, and that's mostly just because of the ownership of the team. Um, but I kind of try to be a um, look at the other side, you know, be a little bit optimistic about everything. Um, and so having Michael Kendricks join the Browns, that could just be one more step to making them better, guys. Um, to me, it just shows that Michael Kendricks really was more about money than winning. Um, because if you sign with a team like that, um, you know they're going to pay you. Now keep in mind, it's only a one-year deal that they've signed him to, but um, I don't know. I think they're paying him like a lot. They, I, looked, I read an article and I didn't see exactly how much they are paying him, but I'm sure they're going to give him a lot for this year. Because, you know, he's like 27, 28. He's in his prime, guys. He could have went anywhere. That, that's another thing that's weird. He could have went anywhere and he chose the Browns. Um, you know, I'm kind of contradicting myself now. Maybe he doesn't care about the money, um, the more I think about it. But uh, it's just an odd choice. It's an odd choice for him to sign there. But, you know, they have Baker Mayfield now. They've got a, um, a young quarterback that they can develop. Um, but I always think this, you know, it, Carson Wentz, if he would have ended up in Cleveland, he, I don't think he would have ever been good. Uh, Cleveland is just like a bottomless pit in my mind, guys. Like, I try to be positive about that team, but until they prove it with more than one win a season, um, I just, this has been two years now. They, they went 0-16 last year, and then they, I think they won like one game against the 49ers in 2016. So um, until I see it, guys, I'm just not going to be on that on that hype train because um Browns fans I will say this when you guys finally win a Super Bowl though you guys deserve all the credit in the world because some of the most loyal fans I've ever met in my life I mean I don't know how they do it guys like if the Eagles were that bad consistently I wouldn't hate the Eagles but it would be really hard for me to get excited about football and um to the point where I probably wouldn't even like watch most of the games it's just how I am um I would look at it as kind of a waste of time. I mean, um, I always look at like products as um, consumer and creator. Um, is the creator of said product working to please the consumer? Um, so I don't believe in just like blind consumerism. And that's kind of what football is to me. Football is a product. And if you're giving out a crappy product, especially when I'm buying this, you know, like $40 hats, um, then you don't deserve my business um, and I will go elsewhere until you fix your product to make me want to come back and so that's that's kind of how I look at the whole like if you're not you're not a true fan if you're not following the team all the time um, but it's like you know well they're not they don't care about their fans if they're not good all the time or at least trying to be good they don't they don't care they're, they don't care that they have a crappy product so like you wouldn't go to Walmart and buy rancid milk that's been sitting out all the time because the people are too lazy to swap out the milk every month, would you? No, you wouldn't. Um, so that's my thoughts on that. But anyway, guys, that's kind of a that's kind of a side ramble. Michael Kendrick signs with the Browns. What do you guys think about this? Um, comment down below what you guys think. I think that the Eagles should have found a way to keep him in Philly. I guess they tried. They tried to give him a pay cut. He said no. So, I mean, I thought him winning a Super Bowl would make him want to stay here more, um, even though he did want to trade last year. But um, Doug Peterson kind of changed the culture around Philadelphia, and so I was hoping we could keep him. But, you know, we'll see. They're, 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 they're going to find a way to fix it, you know. Jim Schwartz is a mastermind. So, um, anyway, guys, that's the video. Like and subscribe if you hadn't. Um, already by the way this is this is primarily an Eagles channel but I do a lot of other stuff on here there's there's something for everyone on this channel guys so please subscribe if you if you uh, want to see more and then for anyone that's returning watching these videos I want to thank you so much um, and as always this has been Jigsaw0097 talk to you all later